जम च वर्ति संयुक्ता ग्रहीनायोजित मैं दीपम गृहान देवेशमोक्यातिरापम Everybody, let's sing together. As that light is being waved, say a prayer. Bhag jano ki sangat, das jano ki sangat, jan me door kare. ओम जय जगदीश हरे मात पिता तुम मेरे शरण कहो सखी स्वामी शरण कहो सखी तुम बिना और न दूजा तुम बिना और न दूजा आश करो जिसकी Sita Ram Jai Radhe Shyam Sita Ram Jai Radhe 
Everybody lift your voice tonight. Let's pray together. Kapet Jambu Palchara Bhakshritam Umasutam Shum Tavinashatarakam Namami Veganeshwara Parapankajam Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarvat Sadike Sharanye Trayambike Gauri Narayani Namostate For one second, think of your Guru. If mommy is no longer alive, daddy is no longer alive, Guru teacher in school, Pandit who has come to do puja home, because of these people, and I'm sure there are others, but just for my purpose, I'm saying these people, their yeah, Lord, these people, by their sacrifice, they made me who I am. They made me a better person. The word guru, go means darkness, and I don't know how to solve my problem. Ru means imagine for children, a dear light, a candlelight, a touch light. The person who is holding this light, bringing this illumination. When I'm lost, when I don't know how to make the next footstep. That's my guru. Dear Lord, tonight it would be wrong. It would be remiss of me to say prayers. And I can't remember this person that was imperative in my development. Dear Lord, tonight I get to sit and listen to wonderful discourse of Hanuman Swami. Wherever my teacher is, wherever my guide is, wherever my parent is, wherever my pundit is, Prabhu, please bless that individual or those individuals. Guru the Brahma, everybody. Guru the Devo. Guru the Sakshat Param Brahma Kasme Shri Guru Venamaha Om Namah Shivaya Everybody Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Bhati Mahadeva Ki Jai Devotees, please have your seat. Sit down and welcome again everybody. Do like me, eh? just check your phone and make sure it's on silent. When we start, we have nothing to interfere. Last night, what did we talk about last night? I forget what we talked about last night. Anand Ramayana. And what in Anand Ramayana? Um, 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 um. I'm genuinely forgetting it. Oh, the Ram Naomi discourse. Right, good. Forgive me, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As a Hindu, 
we cannot afford to be complacent. We are too complacent. You have a weapon. You have a tool in your house. For example, let me, let me pick on my wife a little bit. Tell me if this has happened home by you. Christmas come, I buy this lady the best, the best kitchen aid you could imagine. Every attachment. Spared no expense. Buy it, put it in the corner. But Tisha Mami went time to grind bandanian whatsoever to cook for temple. The, this, the, how you call it thing? The mortan pestle. The next one is sir, sir. It is tastes different. We had to go the old way. We have to go that way. Don't be like us. Embrace new things. Embrace your knowledge. And use it to get where you want to go. At the end of the example, and you end up with your grind bandania. All right. It have plenty of people doing prayers, but they don't know how to link this prayer with the trouble in your life. Let me be frank. If I as a pundit come and I talk nice and pretend everything in the society perfect, I lying well. You want to, you, you want me explain that? Go and find a family where somebody just get shot, rape, rob. Don't forget them things. We are getting numb. Children like them growing up in a society where it is okay to threaten Barapo five years that I'll shoot everybody in the school, causing all parents to rush quick and pick up children. That's normal now. That's a joke. This child watching the computer, she goes there. And to them, that is the example. That is what they are accustomed with. They will think, oh, well, it's our next threat. Me and you, in my time, growing up with my grandfather, I remember somebody dead by that house. You have to go. I used to trouble the man and tell him, my nana, I used to tell him, you, you, hey, you use like funeral police. Anyway, to have funeral, you have to go. It was so strange that this family have a debt that you had to support them. And if you didn't go for that generation, it was something wrong. You did something wrong. Nowadays, if me meet you by this debt, I go meet you by the next one. I'll meet the family members in the next Bandara, one year shroud. Think about what I said. People don't get to have farewell like a long time. People have to afraid. I, I put on this ring tonight and she watched me when I put on the ring. You know you're outside. You know you're going and people go see a ring. Think what I'm saying. I, I use it myself. But this applies to you too. People are changing their format and the choice of jewelry now. People are afraid to buy a nice gift. Jewel stores are closing down, you know, in Trinidad. The way how the economy is affected by crime, the way how we live, and as I said last night, even our prayers is affected. I am sure there are more people, Nicholas, that would have liked to be here tonight. But because, because of where I live. And it have, what are we talking about last night? Lachus Road? I talking about Barapur five years? No. It's not to say it, it is happening over there. And it wouldn't happen in our area. The demon is here. The trouble is here in your yard. But let me agree. And you're here tonight. I know it have Hanuman Puja. I know Pandit go tell me about making things like root. But when you go into your Hanuman Jayanti discourse, when you start to hear about what could I offer, for example, to Hanuman Baba, there are people that will still tell you, Baba, I too much I work to make the road hard. And the road, truthfully, is not the only thing you could offer to Hanuman Swami. Just as we hear yesterday when we were talking about Sri Ram, there are many people who don't know you of a Kowa to Sri Ram in his puja. Or citrus. There are still Hindu people that think I am not supposed to offer orange, grapefruit, mango, all of these things. If the person cannot afford, isn't this a nice, cheap or free option? Easy. If the person had to go to work whole day and they had to come home and they had 10 children and all these things, isn't it a nice, easy option? Pick it up and go and offer it. 
Forget this stress. You know what we just do? We just get tied up with this kurta and sari. We just get tied up with the pretty outfit. Or which pond they come in to read. Or what kind of singing they have. Or what they cook in, in the kitchen. Reach with pundit by the baby. And the last thing we examine there is how we are thinking or praying when you reach to do his puja. But the chana and alu that is in the kitchen, which is good. God bless all you. I tasted last night. Good job. That ain't going to help you if you have a gun by your head. There's only one person that is aggressive in the Hindu pantheon of deutas. Follow me. Follow me. When it was Naratri Katha, there are some people still the Hindu. Watch out, Nicholas. I hope you are so. There are people who still say it's three night Saraswati, three night Lakshmi, three night Durga. Have you ever heard that? Did they say that down the side? Right. Remember what this stupid pun they're telling you. Eh? Please, let me put that to rest. When you're going, Devi Bhagwat in the beginning, and they, were, they needed a female, it had females. But it didn't have female warriors. Remember, this is a male-dominated society. Indian culture. Not religion. Indian culture. Men go to war. Women stay home with the children. So there was no precedent at that time where a lady had a weapon. They say, well, we have a lady in the form of Saraswati. We have a lady in the form of Parvati. We have a lady in the form of Lakshmi. Let's send them. Lord Vishnu took out himself first. He said, if I send my lady to go and fight that battle, wherever she goes, she just bring luck. If she go there, she will give them luck. We will lose. Because send Lakshmi. Bad idea. Brahma stand up and he say, well, if I send my lady, Saraswati, she does have all the books. She will give them all the mantra and all the Vedic knowledge. Them will get more powerful than we know. Don't send her either. Then that is trouble. Okay. Parvati is the lady who does adopt everybody. Because uh, Sati Mata had committed suicide. When mother comes back in that poverty form, she wants to have children. She's constantly in prayer. Not, another discourse, but I know we discuss it for Ganesh. She wants to have children, but she cannot biologically bring forward children. So when she adopted the Ashok Sundari, the girl, the daughter of Lord Shiva, why we this fast from salt? When all this adoption, remember Lord Shiva have eight children in we in the pit here, we just see two, but it have more. We could discuss that another day. Lord Shiva stand up and say, while Zola could send Goddess Uma Parvati, she does adopt everybody as she children. And if she go on that side, she will feel sorry for them, no matter how bad it is. And she will caress them, care for them, love them, make them strong. And then we will have a next problem. Because them will get the mother now to take care of them and revive them. That is where they had a problem. And they did not know how to solve the problem. And all from the, remember, you know the story, you know, from the forehead, the little Dialite come out and they make what we call Adi Shakti. Adi Shakti, Durga name does not exist at that time. This lady now is given the Trishul of Lord Shiva, the Sudarshan Chakra of Lord Vishnu, the, the Red Sari from Yamraj, the two earring from Surya Narang. They build this Kritya. Hear the word I say, eh? Kritya, they build this monster in this female form. For the person who doesn't understand Durga Puja, just remember, it is nine forms of Durga for Naratri. In a simple point. I am highlighting this because there are many people that you call yourself Hindu, but I have so much a misconcept in my Naratri example. Okay, Baba, you're talking craziness. I grew up with my father saying three night Saraswati, three night Lakshmi, three night Durga. Very good, no problem. Tell me where Kali Mata fit in that lineup. If we know Naratri is nine nights of battling, fighting. Remember, today is Vijay Dashmi. Today is the day she's sitting on the mountain. What Baba talking about? Chamundi Hill in South India, which still exists. Sono Mary Devi. Parvat, Parvat means mountain hill, Vasini, you're looking out, you're sitting on the hill as she was blowing after the nine days she went to catch her breath. So she's leaning on the hill and Brahma came in front of her to sing that bhajan. Mother, we go in to offer you the incense, the parsa, the arti, that is the scene in that bhajan. Today is the day she win, everything finished today. 
But you and I make so many mistakes in our concept of that goddess. That we send in we mind what Saraswati and Lakshmi, you have your murti. Saraswati Mata have Gita in she and she ha no weapon to go and fight nobody. Lakshmi Mata go home and watch your murti. Tell me when you're bowing the seed. Now Ratri Mata ki jai. Tell me what she had to go and fight with flowers. She beat them with flowers. No. Watch the nine form of Durga. Watch Gauri Mata. One Trishul. Watch Skan Mata. Different weapon. Watch Kali Mata. Everyone is a warrior that is raw, that came to destroy something that was plaguing man upon you. That lady was created just to fight. So the person now in Noratri is saying that in the two season, when people get sick, when infection rays and people are going to die, we need this lady to fight that kind of battle. Because this one needs, it is dealing in debt. You are singing the Hanuman Chalisa. We there with the epic people chanting Chalisa just now. Everybody chanting Chalisa. But if I ask you why, mm, trouble. Think what I say, eh? Let me get down to the crux. Why? Why are you doing he prayers? What is the importance of doing his prayers? What is the value of bringing flowers tonight? Do you bring flowers tonight? Mm -mm. Remember the days when people used to come to temple with Tulsi and flowers in their hand? Think what I say, if this, I come into my mother house, Mommy, mommy grow you up simply. You see, when you're coming home, make sure and bring something. We had that culture yeah, in we. It could be a currency roll, it could be a bag of bread, it could be something. Bring something when you're coming. Do you ever come looking to, for your mother with your hands beer? And that travel, that stem from the way we look at our, our religion, our, our prayers. Just as how when you come in your mother's house, you take off your shoes out of respect. I could mash dust, I could mash mess, I could mash other things. I don't want to contaminate your house. Likewise, I'm bringing something for my mother. If you could buck up tomorrow night, God bless you, you do it. Think what I'm saying. Because when trouble comes, you're going and beg that lady. You know? You're going to beg that lady. I had her one here every night. We was doing in a simple road, not begging. She ma protect me, ma help me, ma help me, ma help me. Ma, <clears throat> ma making lapsian so hurry, it's sweet. So karma say how I give is so I get. How I give is so I get. Somebody asks you, where is make all the parsad for you? Make any parsad because this is what she like. And I trying to bribe this person to take care of me. I care if I bribe in you, I can give you where I like. I had to bribe you with what you like. But all we just focus on is the, is the sweet. If I ask you here tonight, for example, the fifth night of Naratri, um, there's a recipe that is suitable for scan matter. Malpoa. Nick, you could make that. But you want that lady to help you, especially if you're a parent who have a sick child. If my child have ADHD, if my child have Down syndrome, if my child have hyperactivity and I want that child to pass the exam, mother help me. You see the mistake we just make, Nick, is we just go by a doctor. God, right? I'm using the example of a doctor. Doc, I have ears pain, I have a throat pain, I have a knee pain and I have an ankle pain. Help me. Okay, doctor said take Panadol for all. But duck, you maro. Think what I say. You, you in that moment. You maro. You and I don't want to learn more about your goddess. Don't learn more about your Hanuman. Don't learn that when it have a sickness, it might have a different tablet to take. In an example form. Work with me. We want one method for every problem. And then complain. You know what I find? I take that tablet here and the ankle pain air going. The throat pain air going. One pain maybe leave, maybe the headache pass in all fairness. But it, I have seen the change in my life. Oh, then you go say, Doc, it have a cancer tablet, it have a this tablet, it have a that tablet. And I understand that. But when it come to you now, look for your whole life, Om Namah Shivaya. That's the only mantra you could learn. Then something wrong, not with the God, you know, Nick, you know how much people is telling me that God is working for me? I don't know if all of this do that. You know how much people is say that Pondit do that prayers, correct? Pondit, you ever hear that? You that Pondit say that prayers, good boy, my husband still cheating on me. Look trouble, look what this Pondit is saying. The teacher in his school, the child passing the exam, the teacher in his school is the problem. 
Think what I said. It take a have a day. You go watch yourself and say, you know what is I who really taking the wrong medicine? It it they have a day we go introspect myself and say, you know what, I could I could do better in my prayers. When I was five years old, I pray in the same way. When I reach 50 years old, maybe just as the trouble changing, maybe the prayers had to change a little bit. Tonight, that's where I want to start. I want to start there because it have a question that Sri Ram is going to ask tonight. Somebody come to sing the praise of Hanuman. And last night we hear how Ram and Hanuman good. And we hear that when you do Ram prayers, how Hanuman is protect your simple language. And we hear that. Tonight you're going on here when Sri Ram asks, but how come you sing any praise of Hanuman Swami. Why are you so devoted? Why are you working to propagate his name? And there's Lachman, there's Satrahan, there's all these people. If somebody asks you that, if somebody come to tell you, see that dear you lighting, that is stupidness. Oh Baba, who can say that? I don't know Nick. I hear it, have a blessed guy in Palmas Park talking good. He's talking real good. All you know what I'm talking about for the elders, all you might know what I'm talking about. There was a fella, simple language, right? There was a fella who was once a Hindu, now different. And he well bad talk with Hanuman, and how Hanuman is a spirit, a ghost, amongst other things. I summarize in days, days discourse. He do yag in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the park. Me you know where the bee come from and run everybody. Got a different story. Tonight we're reading from Skanpuran, everybody. And we're going to hear about this question, right? And we're going to hear about the blessing. Again, understand the linkage tonight between Ra Sri Ram and Hanuman and Lord Shiva. We need to understand Lord Shiva and Hanuman. And then we go in because we just talk about, we just talk about Sita Mata love him. And tonight you see I bring Tulsi leaf and Tulsi flowers. One of the best flowers to put by him is the Tulsi flowers. Because I cut her with Sita Mata, which you know, so me I had to go over that. The one where she, where he went and he begged, she, um, for, when she said, I want to cook for you. And all you know what I'm talking about? After the war, she come home and the Empress says, I am going to cook for everybody who fight for me. And she did go and cook and she said, I want to feed you until your belly full. That is my sankal. That is my promise. I am not stopping cooking until your body is full. So Hanuman says, I never get to eat in my mother's house before. My mother is a queen and she never cooked for me before. I'm going to well eat. And my don't worry. I'm going to sit down here until... Everybody get up and last night we talk about getting up or standing up when people sit to eat. The rules, everybody knocking the floor, Hanuman Baba, we getting up. Finish eat, one wrong, two wrong. Get, Hanuman Baba, we getting up. Hanuman still eating. Ma, want more food? As for the kata. Sita Mata running with all the kitchen people, pot finishing, pot cook back, pot finishing, the granary now, the storage finishing. But Hanuman is stopping. Say, Ma, I am enjoying this food so much. Ma, thank you for cooking. And he eating and she run because you're afraid. Anybody here tonight who is a cook, would you like somebody to come home by you? And they eating and the food run out upon it. You well eat roti tonight, boy. But, oh, the roti done. Look at embarrassment, right? So Sita Mata, afraid she get embarrassed. She run by Sri Ram and she says, what to do? Prabhu, this man appetite is, oh, he is stopping. He says, Devi, you know the answer. Take the Tulsi leaf and hide it in his food. You want to see the magic? Hide it. Don't even let him see it. Hide it. And let him eat. And when he went to eat, by accident, imagine any curry, aloo, whatever. Hide up in the food is this leaf. And as you bite it, the body of Hanuman gets heavy. So much so that he started to feel sorry, Ma, and make you cook all this food. Ma, look, I took out all this food. And now I can't eat it. I cannot put our next morsel to my mouth. So Sita Mata smiles and she says, Son, for your ways, for your, for your behavior, whosoever offer your Tulsi leaf will have the contentment and whatever they're praying for. 
So tonight, when you see me went with these children by that murti and offer, I know the secret. So I am practicing what I know. I hope you know it now. Because you see, when you have needs and desires and troubles in your life, you can't study Tanti sit down and she watched me when I went by that murti. And oh God, everybody gonna know what I'm praying for. No, you see that shame leave that home. Because when your trouble come, that time you can't shake that. You have to live with that trouble. When your children letting you down, when your spouse letting you down, when the bills piling up, then you know where is trouble. Then you're glad you could have put two tools to live by that murti. That is why God gave you the health and the strength and the plant in your yard. Tonight, let me enter into a different discourse from Skanpuran. Have you ever heard there is a lingam associated with Hanuman Baba? There we go tonight, everybody. Help me sing. We finish in nowhere. We nearly finish. <laughs> Jaya Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Help me sing, everybody. Jaya Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Jaya Bole Baba Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Hanuman Keshwar Ye Shakti Ye Shubhadata Maya Manohar Jai Tya Vishwanath Vishwa Ye Yati Krita Dharma Shala Ye Yatav Jai Abhole Baba Tab Sharanam Jai Abhole Baba Tab Sharanam Bole Baba Tab Sharanam Jai Abhole Baba Tab Sharanam Jai Abhole Baba Tab Sharanam Jai Abhole Baba Tab Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharanam Agastha Muni Paramaya Manoharaye Naka Nitya Darshan Deja Deja Para Nitya Para Jati Dvija Ritavik Yena Mahabala Jaya Bhole Baba Jaya Bhole Baba Tab Sharana Jaya Bhole Baba Tab Sharana Jaya Bhole Baba Tab Sharana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Mare Baba in Skan Puran Avantika Khan Mahade Baba is talking to Parvati and Parvati wants to know about all the different forms every single lingam you take I want to know about it tell me about your various forms your various lila so the Jyotir lingam those 12 are long gone and all the different moments where somebody prayed to him where somebody called him he's listing them and he says to her you want to know about one more Hanuman Keshwar is the 79th form of my lingam she says Prabhu I have never heard of this lingam please tell me please tell me about the intricacy please tell me about the history please tell me about the origin let me learn to love you let me learn to understand you a little more he says this is when all the Rakshas had been destroyed Sri Ram had obtained the city of Lanka. The battle had now been finished. But Vibhishan was not crowned king as yet. All the bodies were being dragged away still. Funeral rites were being prepared. All the Munis from various other parts had come to see Sri Ram. To celebrate the victory. But Sri Ram does not enter into the city of Lanka. He's still in the camp. He's sitting there as all the soldiers from Lanka, all the wives are bawling. The ground of Lanka is dripping. When you lift the mud, see the blood dripping like rainfall and the water is dripping, but not water now. The blood of all these foes, these enemies from Sri Ram's side, from the bad man's side, the blood is so profuse, puddles of blood. 
That was the scenery of Parvati. This is the moment of goddess. And all the heralds, all the great munis, all the Gandharvas, Kinaras, all of them want to come and see Sri Ram. And after all the devtas had passed, now were some great munis by the name of Agast Muni and others. Let's hear what happened as they reach. Paramaditya Pada Paramata Chapaye Yam Kubiye Ati Nekya Deva Dasadik Pal Rama Rama Ye Rama Ye Ati Jaya Bole Baba Tabasharana Jaya Bole Baba Tabasharana Jaya Bole Baba Tabasharana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharana All the guardians of the directions Do you remember Kubir? Kubir, God of gold God of wealth, but gold, gold in particular He's the elder brother, the step brother of Dashanan, Ravan And he was displaced from Lanka He was the one who built Lanka When we think of the word Lanka, we think Lankeshwar is Ravan the Lord of Lanka. But Lanka, the first Lankeshwar, was Kubir. He builds this huge place, beautiful place. He's the god of gold, so he makes it out of gold. But Ravan comes as this powerful son of a pundit. The grandson of a great pundit. And with all the knowledge, Dashanan, he comes to fight his brother for property and he throws out Kubir. Beats Kubir, takes that pushback van we hear about in, in Rama, in Tulsidas Rama, in that Sri Ram flew it. That wasn't his. That wasn't Sri Ram one. That wasn't Ravan one. That was Kubir originally. Vishwakarma makes it for Kubir. And when Kubir goes to Lord Shiva to beg, it is Mahadev Baba who gives the, the direction. He says, You live as one of the does. Dig Pal, one of the guardian of the direction. You protect that direction and one day, one day you will get back. You will get justice. You will see law and order. You will live to see my power. When my friend descends upon the earth, when my force comes, I will burn the goal that he's holding on. That fellow who take what is yours, the person who see what is yours and he wanted it, I myself will come and I will destroy it and he will grieve for it. Mario Baba, knowing, knowing that everybody wants to come and celebrate. You have to understand, sometimes we just feel, okay, Sri Ram win the war, the end, move on. Sita Mata is coming back, but you have to understand what is happening. Rawan was a thief and he fight the brother for what was not his. He wanted to take wife, he wanted to take the property, he wanted to take everything, the tax, the people, the ministers, everybody children was his. Everybody wife was his wife. That was the character. And Lord Shiva is the one who says, I will deal with that. When you hear the discourse of Hanuman burning that city, that tail is wrapped like a deer wick to burn gold. You have to understand tonight, there was a reason behind it. It wasn't just so, why the trees in the Ashoka Vatika didn't burn? Where Sita Mata was, the fire didn't reach there. The walls that they had to break did not burn. But gold, gold has to burn. The, the, the property is falling because of the intensity of the flame from this man's tail. Madhya Baba looks on from Kailash. Agni, Yam, all the different Dastik Pala come in to look for Sri Ram, to congratulate him. Sri Ram knows who is coming close and he sees tears running from Kubiri's eyes. How powerful it is when a person goes for help and the help comes in whichever form that God will work. Oh, Devi, know that my protection works for those who come and surrender to me. 
who asks me for help, who comes for my rescuing, I will come. And that is why when you hear Hanuman Baba is an incarnation of Shiva, understand in this example, he incarnated to save his devotee. And when nobody knew, nobody understood why he was doing the Leela the way he was doing it, Kabir knew his prayer in the secret of his heart when he was crying and bawling how could you make me the king of this city build the house build this entire kingdom and allow somebody to take what I sweat and make how could you allow that Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva smiles and you see your Murti homeless watch and smile when you bawling grieving griping over every hurtful thing that happening he remains with a smile on his face Whole could be whole. One day you're gonna smile again. Let me hear what happened in this verse. A lot of help me sing. I'll hear what we know my voice. Avantika Muni Dharmatam Mahadevo Te Yataparta Prokta Prokta Mahaprakiti Devi Devi Mahabala Jaya Bole Baba Tavajarana Come on everybody Baba Tavajarana Jaya Bole Baba Tavajarana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharana All the different energies, all the different deutas had to take disguise. Yamraj in particular has to hide himself. Remember Tulsidas Ramayan? When you, how do we finish the Katha of, of, of Lord Vishnu, whichever avatar? Lord Shiva has to take our form. Who causes Sri Ram to go? When Durbasa Rishi, when Lord Shiva takes that form and he has to come now to put trap, Lachman has to die. When Lachman dies, it is then Sri Ram says it's time for me to go. When Sita Mata born, Lawan Kush on the throne, Kush daughter born, Hima, Hema, he wasn't ready to go yet. But when Lachman goes, belly hurt him. He belly hurt him because he can't do it out, his best friend. The bond between Ram and Lachman is very tight. But this is the first time Yamraj comes to look for him. In his whole life in Balkan, in Ayodhya Khan, there's no need. But the work is finished. The evil person is destroyed. The weight of Mother Earth is gone. The purpose of your avatar is done. Yamraj reach. Prabhu, it is so nice to see your mercy. But they dress up, imagine a whole set of fellas dress up with long beard and orange garb and they dress as Swami. Nobody knows who they are. Agas Muni, Durbasa Muni, all of them standing there. Sri Ram sees who is standing in front of him. Varundev, Pawandev, Kubir. Kubir cannot stop crying to see the mercy of Lord Shiva, to see the work of Lord Shiva and Sri Ram is doing it. But what, what does Agas Muni say? Imagine all of them stand up. See there, I will watch it and I will understand what's happening. Prabhu, it is my grace, it is my darshan to stand here and to see how effective you are at destroying the worst form of evil. No matter what the trouble is, you destroyed it. No matter what those sons of Dasrat had as their burden, their boons, you destroyed them all. Wow. Prabhu, today we get this Ashivad. Bow. The next word is what caused the trouble. Hanumat, Hanumat Mahabaho, Tena Prokta Mahabala, Lakshman Yena Yati, Yati Tipar Yatam, Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sharana. Come on, everybody. Bole Baba Tab Sharana. Bole Baba Tab Sharana. Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sharana. Bole Baba Tab Sharana. Jaya Sam Sada Shiva Tab Sharana. Jaya Sam Sada Shiva Tab Sharana. Umapati Mahadevaki Jai. Jai.
He says, and O oh, Sadhu, O oh, Rajan, O oh, King, O oh, Great Soul, O oh, Mahavishnu, with every mamaga you could imagine from the mouth. O oh, Hero, you have that great one Hanuman with you. That great personality. He was able to assist you in your battle and he destroyed everybody. Prabhu, thank you for allowing this battle to win and all the bad people to destroy because of you and Hanuman. It's true, Hanuman was in the battlefield. But when Sri Ram heard this, playing the Leela here according to Lord Shiva, he says, Sri Ram says, why did you see Hanuman? I have my brother Lakshman with me. I have Sugriv. I have Jamont. The storehouse of strength is Jamont. Why does Jamont fight Krishna? When you hear when Krishna Vada Vasudev does Naratri Brat, you see tonight? Tonight is commemorative of Vasudev. When Krishna is fighting in the forest, and Krishna is not coming home. Long story short. Vasudev does now Ratri Brat. And he reached to the moment. You see how we just take with coconut to burn it? After you do the nine days puja. Vasudev had the coconut on his hands now ready to burn. And he says, Mother, please send back my son. Mother, please send back my child. Mother, please protect my child. Mother, please protect my child. And as he put the coconut in the fire, Krishna walked through the door. Make sure and keep up your Vijay Dashmi. Remember, eh? when we talked last night, who do the prayers? Watch who do in the prayers. Watch the example. What great people do, ordinary people like you and me follow. How come J Jamant, who is so powerful, he gets to fight Christian in that discourse we are now described? Where was Christian? Christian was fighting Jamant somewhere in the forest. The daughter of Jamant gets to marry Christian. How come all these people are standing here, angered? All these individuals, everybody have the Ashivad of this um, Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, somewhere along the line. But you are, you are, you are selecting, you are selecting Hanuman, and you are not calling my brother. How come? He says, you have to understand. You have to understand. The power of the Vanar, O oh, Sri Ram. Understand what who talking here, a pundit who is the incarnation of a devta, is telling Mahavishnu, you have to understand the power of that Vanar. There is no one else in the three worlds that is capable of him, that is intelligent as him. This is why. Of all the ani animals that were selected to be on the southern shore when Sundarka and Tulsidas, Ramayan, when they were sitting on the shore and they were watching the big ocean, after they heard from, um, from Sri Ram that Jatayu said, Rawan has Sita. Rawan is living in Lanka. That is the south of India. They're on the beach now. And on that, on, in that first part, of all the people that Jamwan could have selected, he selects Hanuman. He says, you have to understand why he was selected. Angad was there. He has the power. When they were planning in Adabut Ramayan, they said that they cannot go back home to Sugriv and tell them they didn't get through. They cannot go and disappoint Sri Ram. It is better we die. It is better we give up our life. This is the part where, the, who remember the name of the brother Nicholas? The brother of Jam, um, Jatayu. Metasya, what is the brother name of Jatayu? You're going to tell me that tomorrow night. I'll leave you here that. The brother came to eat them. They lie down on the beach. And they're ready to give up their life. They want to drink water. They want to eat. And the brother was also a vulture. And the vulture come in. Come in. And he come in close to eat them. So now, you, you ever hear somebody say, I want to dead. Better I dead. And then somebody will say, well, if you want to kill yourself, kill yourself. And immediately you go ahead, no, 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 I don't want that to happen. I don't want to die. They just wake up. How? Some party. Some party. Google working. 
Somebody came to eat them. And Angad Saraban said, no, 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 we are not your food. You cannot eat us. We are here to do the work. And Sampati tells them, if you, you have heroes here, you have people here who could, very capable, do this chore for you. Why are you pretending? I've heard this, that, and he starts to talk about in different times. Sampati is the person, you see when you're watching your Marvel shows, when they're talking about multiverse, if you listen to the discourse with some party, some party says, I have been sitting on this mountain because of the Ashivar of my guru for so long. I saw yug, I saw time, I saw different dimension, and I saw where it have a kata where Hanuman Baba has to go and get a ring for Sri Ram. And in, when he reaches the Patal, the person who caused the reaction we had, Bali, Bali says, Which Hanuman are you? So, Hanuman said, well, it's only me, it's only one, it's one. He said, no, 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 it have different universe. And in each universe, there's a Hanuman that works with that Ram. So people, just like how we see the show Avatar, have blue people that live on a planet that is floating on water, that are in, they, they are inspired by the Hindu stories like Matrix. When you're listening to the credits in Matrix, the movie, Oh, Masa to Masa, the Gamma, yeah. Hinduism is used in the TV shows and we don't realize it. Multiverse is one example of that. Sampati tells them, but you have this personality called Hanuman. What are you doing? Jamun then goes and tells Hanuman, you have it. So the Muni is saying, Angad, Jamun, all of them were right there. And they told Sampati that they cannot, if ja Angad says to remind you, he will reach halfway. Jamon says, I could jump, the bear could jump, I will reach the Lanka, but I will not be able to come back. Many of them weighed themselves. I could reach a quarter, I could reach half, etc. Then Jamon says, Hanuman, you are the only person who could do it. So Hanuman says, but I can't, what are you talking about? You telling me I could do that and I'm telling you I cannot do it, what are you saying? Sri Ram says, exactly, Muni. Then if he for himself cannot do it, what are you talking about? What are you raving about? How could Hanuman, he says, Prabhu, you are forgetting Hanuman did expand his body. He does uh, for 100 yojana. Yojan is a measurement of 8 miles. For 100 eight by 8 miles, he flies without stopping. And he reaches to Lanka. He does, he does achieve it. He says, yes. He used my name. And he was able to grow and fly. He says, Prabhu, that was the mantra. But the blessing was already with him. Because of Shiv Baba. He says, Shiv Baba. He says, please tell me. What is the history? What are you talking about? He says, in order for the heroic deeds of Hanuman to be achieved when you hear about Hanuman going in the cave with Ahirawan, when you hear about Hanuman going to find um, Sita Mata, there are many examples where Hanuman is the person doing the saving. If one night we'll do the discourse with the flag of Hanuman, with Arjun, when you look at saving beam in Mahabharata, there are many examples where Hanuman of all the devtas, Hanuman becomes the person to save the person. You don't see Saraswati Lakshmi to use forms going to encourage the person who on the earth. Listen, like, Hanu, like let me just touch on the beam story. You have too much of pride. You feel you're too good. You feel you're too powerful. Stop it. Change. Hanuman does that. Hanuman fights Ravan, goes where nobody could go. He says here in the end of the, the seventh shlok, he says when nobody, when Indra couldn't go into the court, of, of Rawan. Hanuman goes and plucks his tail and ele elevates himself equal to Rawan. He is the person who is able in different Ramayana. He is able to speak on terms with Rawan. Nobody couldn't stop him from burning the palace. When Angad, when Angad couldn't do it. So what is so special about this man? Tonight I want you to appreciate what I'm talking about. Eh? Because sometimes when we're doing Ramayana, we just rush this part. 
and you don't understand what is happening. When you are doing Hanuman Puja on Saturday, Shanivar is the Hindi word for Saturday. Shani and Hanuman is, is let me say, God brothers. The Guru of Hanuman Baba is Surya Dev. The biological father of Shanishchar is Surya Dev. So when in that discourse, all you see how much Hanuman discourse it have. When time to pay after he do the Surya Namaskar and all the postures to worship his father, his godfather, and he learn everything. Hanuman Baba says it's time for me to give Guru Dakshina for learning something. I have to pay. I don't want to owe your Guruji. The son say, you is just a little vanner. I is the center of the universe. It have a piece of gold that I don't have. It don't have a gem that I don't have. It don't have anything financial. You could pay me that I don't already have. Don't worry about it. God bless you. I don't want anything. He says, Guruji, it is for me to repay you for the knowledge you give me. Do you do that? When the RT coming wrong, understand what I'm saying, eh? The little 25 cent dollar, whatever you put, understand what you're saying. If tonight you learn something, Pandit Keshava, Krishna Arpan, I don't want to owe you. I never hear this before. Thanks for that knowledge. I will approach my Hanuman different because I learned something. Krishna Arpan. Do you do it with your mother? When your mother box going and your city boy lifting, you're taking ma for your milk. I get bone and I get flesh. Today I want to pay you back. That is where the son repays the mother. Krishna upon mommy, thank you for everything you give me. So in everything that we do, we really don't practice owing anybody. The idea of repaying the person, the idea of taking out, for example, the lady in, his, in the kitchen and already take out a little seed house, something for the fire, for the savor of cooking this food. Thank you for not burning us. You know when the thing is happy, how we just get burned, when pop, polaris at a pop, etc. Thank you, allow we to get through. In different examples, you're always giving thanks or gratitude. In this case now, when Shani is the son of Surya, father and son not seeing eye to eye, Surya say, all right, hear what? Let me give you some siwa. Go bring back my son to talk to me. And if you give me that, that, that blessing that my son come back, that will be your dakshna. Hanuman Baba, long story short, gain a fight with Shani Devta. Shani Devta had kicked his mother, so he walks with a little limp. He had a stick in his hand, a piece of iron, for twist. So he just take long to pass in a person patra. He holding on to his stick and he said, no, I don't want to go by my father. I don't want to go by that man. I don't want to hear that man. You shut up. I don't want to hear he. Hanuman Baba said, uh -uh. For the person who thinks Hanuman cannot fight and fix problems in family, please remember where it is we seen. When the son didn't want to listen to the father, when he didn't want to listen, he takes a piece of iron and he wrap him, he beat him. Wrap him with the iron, tie him up and throw him by Surya foot. So Surya says, if you do Hanuman Puja on a Saturday when Shani is most powerful, Shani will not interfere with you. When Shani, in a different discourse now, Shani is overpowered by Ravan. What made the difference with this Satya goal? How come Indra, if, if Indra have, Shakar have the thunderbolt to bust the lip, based on what we say last night, could burst the lip of Hanuman. How come he couldn't destroy Ravan in a city make of gold? Then you understand, you see the Katha we do, where we was talking about the gaze of Shani, with Ganesh when he had fall off. The wife of Shani Ul Ulka, she tell him, you don't want to watch me. Your eyes your wife and you don't want to pay, pay attention to me. You only study in prayers, you only study in prayers. Okay, anybody you watch, go and watch your murti. Anybody you watch, their, their, their form, their body, they will fall. Their hardship, their, their life will go through hardship. For that reason, here is the person said, the eyes of Shani are on you. So you're going through. Said Sati, Sade Sati is the worst Shani girl, seven years girl. Rawan knew about that. So Rawan goes and kidnaps Shani. And under the, the main pillar of Lanka, ties Shani with his neck like this. And he wrapped the neck in metal. And he kept the eyes to the heaven, watching Indra. So with the gaze of Shani always to the heaven, Indra couldn't win. 
Shani is the tool of the devotas to cause damage to me and you. When a person has broken bones, surgery, any type of um, aneurysm or bad infection, those things are what constitute a Shani Grah. Then somebody say, you have a Grah. What, what, what does that mean? In your life, you're getting punishment because of what this man is bringing to you. When a person has broken bones, fractured bones, or the brittle bones, do Shani Puja on a Satan. You will see the change. The what can heal will heal. The alignment of the bone will get right. For example, Hanuman Baba is ready to go and burn the city. What he does? He goes, he finds Shani, frees Shani, jumps up into the air, and allows Shani to see the city of Lanka weakening the city because of his gaze and is now ready to burn the city. That is how he made the difference. Hanuman Baba is effective in beating him throughout. Indra couldn't do it. Nobody could beat Rawan. Lord Shiva couldn't beat him. Nobody. But now you are saying Hanuman, Hanuman, Sri Ram is saying it's true. Hanuman did go and burn the city. How did he burn the city? How is it that he's so powerful? And this is what Agus Muni tells him. Everybody, let's go together again. We're finishing jazz now. Oh boy. Time is run the front here, boy. Jay Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Come on, everybody. Jay Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Jay Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Jay Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sharana Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sharana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Hanumat Lingeshwar Yati Hanumat Punya Punya Rakta Yatam Maya Yena Dvijayati Indrayate Surya Vanshyatam Jaya Bhole Baba Tab Sharana 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 Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharana He says the eater of the sun The person who is going to bite the sun That is the most powerful warrior in your entire army If you want to take your entire army on one side And put him, Hanuman, on the other side Your army is still going to lose Sri Ram starts to think, he says, you know, but if that is true, for the person who know the Rama, you have to work with me here now. He says, that's true. But how come? If that's what you're saying is true, and that analogy is true, if Hanuman is so powerful, something always bothered me, always made me think. I, son of Dasrat, had to come to get between the fight between Sugriv and Bali. The two brothers, I had to adjudicate, I had to fight in the, in the forest and shoot the arrow. So Bali has to reborn in Krishna Janam. Who shoots Krishna in his foot? Bali, he reincarnate. Prabhu, Sri Ram, hides in the forest at the behest of Sugriv to shoot the arrow that take Bali. And when Tara is crying and the shrap pass, you are going to feel the burn and the sting of this. And Sri Ram takes the shrap. This is why in Krishna Janam, when it is time for Krishna to go, that Bali reincarnates as Jara. And he shoots Krishna under that peepar tree. And we have a peepar tree here in the temple. Oh, we had one. I'm not sure. And we had one. That peepar tree is full with the blood of Krishna. Because Krishna sat by the Yamuna. And Jara shot the arrow just like Sri Ram. Took the arrow in the ankle. And when the charity of Krishna comes, he says, let me help you, I can take out this arrow. He says, no, leave it. This is the hand of fate being played. He says, that whole discourse with Bali and Sugriv unfolded when I reached into that city. But Hanuman is the right hand of Sugriv. 
And Hanuman is able to cross the ocean. Yes, he burns the city of Langa. Yes, he saves Shani. He destroys Meghnath. He, de he does all of that. But how come he couldn't help his king, Sugri? How is it he could not help him then? You ever hear somebody wonder if Hanuman could help you? You ever, you ever had a problem? I wonder if that little monkey boy, that little red flag could help me with cancer. When me have a problem, Hanuman prays good, you know. Pondit and Up could come and say all the prayers, the wrote, everything good. But you see when the doctor tell you that is your problem, when you have to go and look for a JP to make bail for your child, when you have to go and pick up your child in pieces on that road when it have accident, that is the time. I wonder if he's capable. Be honest with yourself because we is the one who is had doubt. Depending on the sickness and the trouble, that is where I wonder if that little monkey could handle that boy. I see he lift a hill. I hear you lift the hill that caused Govardhan Katha in Krishna. All you know about that discourse, why Krishna had to go on and eat like that was because of Hanuman. But you just worship Hanuman. You ain't know these things we're we talking about, Nick. So when you worship him, where you worship him for Nicholas? If you understand me. When you say you believe in him, where you believe with him? Do you know him? Gita tell you if you ain't know, if you had the knowledge, what you're worshiping. How could you believe in something and you don't know it? When you look inside your heart and you, you are a stranger to your God. But yeah, God, I believe you. I have a ring on my head. I believe you. I have the nice pink sari on. I believe you. Believe what? Sri Ram is saying, how? I have a doubt. How did he do it? Follow me. How? How he didn't save? So grief from Bali. When Bali beat him. When Bali beat Tara. When Bali beat... Angered. When Bali beat all of them, imagine somebody beating your wife, somebody beating your son, abusing them, and you're standing there, and you're helpless. But Hanuman sat up next to me. Imagine the doubt in Ram here. He had a reply, Muni give him. Agasha Hanumat ye mrigata Hanuman Hanuman ye bhalak Balak Shesha Pawan Devya Linga Linga Yena Kanda Am Jaya Bole Baba Jaya Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jaya Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jaya Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam he says you have to go back when he was that little boy and the name Hanuman is given to him it's how he got the name for the devotee who is worshipping Hanuman what does Hanuman mean again the person with the cut lip watch your multi home you'll see the cut lip and you'll say looking the artist make it look so nice he looks like a monkey but in India, where you have people born with genetic defects, where the cleft, the palate is cleft, not the lip. The, the, the painter making it look nice and pretty. But the person teeth, when the cleft here is not like how me and you teeth equal and talks normal. The teeth fan like this and the top here where the gum is cracked as if somebody take butter and cut it with a knife. The person talk like this. They cannot talk properly for this reason, not to make light of anybody, but for you to understand what Hanuman means. Hanuman means the person with the cut cleft, they can't talk properly. For the person who have dentures in the mouth and the tongue is hitting that piece of plastic, they don't tongue properly. They sound different. In our dharma, you don't laugh at people who talk different. You worship people who talk different. You don't call them um, disabled or retarded. In India, you call such children because they are children that are formed like that from their mother coming into the world. You call them the children of Hanuman. You are teach children like that. You bring them to the front. You're about a fat pundit like me who have everything. I healthy, I big, I eating enough roti. You understand what I'm saying? The starving, the child who don't have the, the karma to born with normal teeth and the ability to talk, 
that child is the person that Hanuman represents. And that is the child you are supposed to invite in his prayer. Hanuman I want to go and look for Guruji. I want to go and give him a seed of good. God bless you. Pandit Anup, God bless you. Good. Very good. Go and find a differently able child. And you love him? Understand what he represents. Understand what he represents. Understand that there is nothing God didn't make. If you sit down here tonight and you feel fear people good and dark people bad, thin people good, fat people bad, or vice versa, people with hair good, bald head people bad. Think what I say, ne? My surname is Gosain. I good. Other people bad. Less than. I name Brahman. You name Sudra. You bad. I good. Remember, in the house of Yamraj, there's no favoritism. It have nothing that I closer to you. God say, I better with you. And I am less than with another person. He say, based on your karma. That is the only currency. You do plenty good, I will love you. You do plenty bad, I will hate you. You will get good punishment. And when bad things start to happen to good people, when you're living and you're seeing hardship, ask yourself, God don't like me or God giving me what I work for. God don't like me, or God punishing me, I take this mouth, and I like to gossip, I like to talk people bad, I like to lie, I like to cheat, and now in this life, I can't talk properly, and God make me, but God make me like that, then it's for you to check yourself, and stop blaming outside, and stop blaming other things, and stop blaming other people, stop blaming the God who make you, and realize you make yourself, you're in charge of that karma, and then when you hear you have a speech impediment, the child have a little stutter, then you will hear the Baba tell you, your Guru will tell you, you want to come out of that trouble, remember what Guru mean, you want to come out of that trouble, go and find a child who can talk, go and find a child who can hear, somebody who can see and wash the foot, Take that water, pass it over that child, and you will see the child who's stuttering, they could grow out of stuttering. You could change karma. If you cannot change karma, if everything right in those books, like the Hanuman Jyot is cast in stone, what are you doing prayers for? If I was supposed to fail maths, in Mark in the book, Pandit is going to do a very poor in exam this year. No problem, sir. It's what he might have for me. I could stupid. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing, for? Mother, accept the prasad. Mother, accept the prasad. Take the prasad. It's sweet. And bless me with three times again. D, change it. Change my karma and make it A. Every time you're praying, that we are doing. That we offer in prasad for. When you're doing, sir, you're not in prasad. And the prasad is for, um, for brand, um, um, um. Pearl Bali, look healthy things, please accept it. Where this patch the, the parsad for? To imitate the brand flakes in the parsad, take it and just like how the brand go help this lady with the cholesterol. Bless me that my cholesterol, ble bless me with my clog arteries, bless me not to get heart attack. When the doctor tell you, see you, you're going to dead. You ever see somebody do prayers and they come back? You ever believe that prayers could bring back somebody imminent death? You know how many doctors just tell me, Pondit, we gotta prepare for funeral, you know? True. True. I believe in that. I don't know what you believe in. Sri Ram, right now, have a doubt. He tells him you have to go back when he wanted to swallow that son. Please think what I say, you're gonna understand it. Let me go. Kalayate neva suriyatam Maya moha hanumanta Anuman nam ye ye trai vedya ye indra shakra kathatam jaya bhole baba Come on everybody Bhole baba tam sharanam Jaya bhole baba tam sharanam Jaya bhole baba tam sharanam Jaya samba sada shiva tam sharanam Jaya samba sada shiva tam sharanam Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharanam Prem Sabaloma Pati Mahadeva Ki When Indra saw the moment where he's going to swallow the sun In Tulsidas Ramayan it says after all that had happened Pawandev was the one who is able to bring back life But Pawandev does not He does not have the darshan to bring life or to take life. A person could go to the hospital 
and have the oxygen on their face and still die. So how, as Hindus, when we hear Pawan Dev stifle everybody, no air for nobody, and the sun, everything is stifling, but then when he released the air, Hanuman wake up. It have more to that story. In Valmiki Ramayana, in other Bhut Ramayana, you will hear where the father seen when the, the, the birds from um, Shaka or, or Idra, when the thunderbolt hit him to stop him from touching that sun because he was going to bring darkness throughout the universe. If that darkness comes, every form of light, life, every animal, the temperature, everything will go out of sync. And without the sun, death and mayhem will come. Indra acts and Indra throws the thunderbolt, hits him, and with it, with the electrical energy, kills Hanuman. Lifeless. Lifeless, he fell to the earth. When he fell, I'm reading from Skan Puran. When he fell to the earth, Pawandev, God of air, did panic. He goes and he grabs hold of his son. And he's, he runs to Lingam. Where Shiv Baba, the one who, he says, poverty, I am the one. When a person is in fear of death, Mrityunjai Mantra, of all the different devtas, Indra cannot give life. Agni cannot give life. The earth cannot give life. Those forms come to me for help. Those forms come to Lord Vishnu for help. They come to us to regulate the coming and going of the Jeev Atma. For this reason, when he comes to me in that form of the Lingam, and what did he do in that rush, in that moment, he does not have one offering to offer on that Lingam. He has no milk. He doesn't, he's not like me and you with all the fancy parasad where we're talking about Malpoa and all the Lapsi. Baba, I can make the best Lapsi. I can make the best road. He didn't have none of that. He has a dead child in his hand. And you can imagine how upset, how perturbed this person is. He says, oh Shiva, today all I could offer you is the sweat that is coming from my paws because I am shaking with fear. I have no garland to offer you. I have nothing to offer you. But now I have a Hanuman. I have a damaged child. Look at his mouth. Yamraj reach, Varun reach, all of them reach there. Surya reach to beg Pawandev to calm down, Shanti, Shanti. And from the blessings of my lingam, that child eyes after the prayer of that father. After those mantras till today, these verses, this passage in this Kanpuran, you see when you're battling with children when they're sick, I use it for big people too, to be honest. When they pray, when we're in the hospital and we're over the bed and the child unconscious, what you say? You see this prayer, this father is saying, Lord Shiva, bless me with that life. Lord Shiva, bless me. But of course, we're looking at the quality of the devotee. Yeah? If it was me and you, maybe we'd have do it wrong. Maybe we'd have used the same prayers. It has happened. Nick, I could come by you. I could come by Pandit Do Hanuman Puja. Same flag, same road, same sinur. But Pandit go get through, you go get through. Maybe he go be honest in he fasting. Maybe he go be calm in he pray. But Nick, me and you, we just say, Hanuman Baba, you see my neighbor? <clears throat> them had too much. Them living too good. Mash them up. Same prayer, you know, I'm praying. But look at the quality of my prayer. Same flag, I had prayers. I share in Parasad. But look at the quality of my prayer. For this reason... All the devotees are there to witness the reviving of Hanuman. Let me do one verse in this. As the goddess, she says, remember you were there, mother. You witnessed the eyes opening of Hanuman. When that lifeless body laid in the lap of Pawan Day, when Pawan was crying, I listened to his prayer. And you and me, we lifted our hand and the Shakti, it came back. In his body. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu. Come on, everybody. Shakti Rupena Sam Sita. Namasta Se. Namasta Se. Namasta Se. Namo Nama. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu. Shakti Rupena Sam Sita. Shiva Rupa Grihayatam 
विश्वयाति गृहति आत करुणा पार्वती प्रिया सूर्य ना पाश्ये ना हनुमंत या देवी सर्वभूतेशो शक्ति रूपेण संस्कृता नमस्ते 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 नमो नमः या देवी सर्वभूतेशो शक्ति Prem Sabalo Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai When mother you lifted your hand and the eyes of Hanuman opened All the devotees started to give him different bardan Varun Devta says you will never meet death on the battlefield Yamraj says you will be immune to all the blows When people hit you it will bounce off Different forms of Surya, Datta, Bhaskar, different forms gave him different benefit. That when you lift your hand to bless, not you alone, but when you bless somebody, when you wish somebody well, you will bring all forms of healing as if the sun is living within you. When you're listening to Bajrang Ban and you hear the person say, you brought back the breath in Lachman's body. You brought the Sajivan herb. You are called Sajivani. One of his names. You are the one who could bring back life. He says, this is where that blessing came from. Let the rays of Surya permeate from your body. And anytime a person worships you, let health, let benediction, let unsurpassed healing, help, benefit, no matter what the enemy is, overcome that demon or that destructive force. You will never be destroyed by any weapon. You will be unaging. Hence, he was called in Surya River, Chiran GV or immortal. He, he had this bl blessing. You will be the person when you stand up, the enemy. <clears throat> Om Cham Cham Chapala Chalanta. When the person says, Oh Hanuman Baba, the enemy is at my door. Mash them, beat them, bend them, break them, but don't let them come for me. Of all, I, I bet you go home and read your Bajrang Ban. The weapon of Hanuman. Where Hanuman becomes the weapon. You have so many devis, so many different forms, but we don't ask those forms for this type of protection. So why Hanuman? When he says, any weapon raised against you will fall. Any person that stands against you or your devotee will fall. The person will see you and they will run. The person will see your flag, your prayer, your puja, eat your parasad, and either change their ways or their modas or have to go back. The person that does invite you into prayer will feel a difference in their existence, in their home. This is why when he blessed him where in Surya River, he says, Hanuman, I am going back. Remember, this explanation happens 11,000 years before Sri Ram is ready to leave. He becomes king for 11,000 years. And this was the moment that Sri Ram learns of some of the secrets that he lets out in the river. When he tells Hanuman, this is what you have to do. This is how you're going to do it. This is where you will remain. When people call my name, when the Ramayana is toted on people's head and they're going in the Yagya Shala, you'll be the first to reach and the last to leave. That blessing came from <clears throat> Agni Dev that he will be that person that wherever the name of Mahavishnu, Shiv Baba is called, he will be dragged. He will be forced to arrive there. He will have to reach. Agas Muni is replying to Sri Ram and he's telling him all of these things. He says, but oh goddess, don't forget. When he got all of this bardan, all of this power, it was too much for his little form. And he became very wicked. He became very chanchal. And when he got the shrap to forget understand what he forgets and because of that strap where hanuman baba forgets it is only after in Sudha, in in the in the in the ramayana where jamwan reminds hanuman baba of his inher inherent power this is where that is coming from it is hanuman 
that goes to help Vibhishan. When he, Vibhishan does Lingam Puja the first time after Ram won the war, Hanuman could have gone into Lanka, but Sri Ram is barred from entering into a city because of the words of Dasrat. For this reason, whenever a person worships Hanuman, the blessings that he got from all the directions. This is why August Muni and all of them came to look for Ram. And they sang the praises of the person they built. They gave him that power. For me, O oh Goddess, it was an opportunity for me to serve Sri Ram. When I heard that Ram is coming, I became his right hand. I became his, I became his, I became his support in Hanuman form. August Muni says, why did Hanuman help so much in your Katha Sri Ram? But prior to you, he did nothing. He did not block the shraf. He did forget. He did not beat Vali. He did not help Sugriv. He did not save Tara, Angad, all these people. But he saves you time and time again. When the tears we hear in Shiv Puran, where the tears of Shiva caused the Rudraksh Mala, the, 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 the seed that we just wear around with neck. Rudraksh means the tears, Aksh means tears of Rudra. But there's a katha with Hanuman that explains the tears of Ram. He says, he saves you from tears. And the reason for that is, when he was a child, he had the power. But because of the curse, he forgets it. But it is only when you came into his story, Jamon reminds him in Sundar Khan about his power. And when he remembered the power, that is where the Ashta Siddhi that we talk about in Hanuman Chalisa, in Dolly coming to sing Chalisa, Nicholas. When you're singing it, remember what I'm telling you. Ashta Siddhi now, Nidike Data, you are the one who all the power is rocking. The power one day was too much for him to control. But when Jamon reminds him of it, it is now he could spread and grow. When we will hear, I will read, I will read the Mahabharat for it tomorrow night. When B wanted to see the form, he cries. He says, brother, show me this form they talk about. And in that time, they couldn't, he couldn't see it. But on the banks of that river, on that sea, sorry, where Rameshwaram is, Hanuman with that young form, he spreads his body and he grows because of this Ashivad. Prem Sabalo Pauna Putra Hanuman Aki Say. Sri Ram is listening. He says, This is why he is so powerful. He says, Whilst the name, Guruji says, Whilst the name Lakshman, Man means mind, Lakshman is quick, he's very fast, he could think. Lakshman is very intelligent. He is able to sit and hold your head, Sri Ram, for the entire time that you are in the forest. Lakshman remains awake. He doesn't sleep at no time. The sleep of Lakshman is consigned to his wife in the city of Ayodhya. But Lakshman remains awake. Lakshman becomes your servant. Lakshman serves you just as he serves in Sheshnag, holding Mahavishnu. He does the same in Ram Janam, where he becomes the holder of your head and he holds you in the forest. He says, Lakshman has his role. But this form called Hanuman, holding all this power, comes to yield this power and to fight. And now, the person who does his puja, the person who does his worship, gains the blessing as if they are Lakshman begging for the help of Hanuman. When the breath leaves the life, Hanuman is capable of bringing back that life. Hanuman of all the devtas is praised because of that ability. Unlike the other devtas, he is the one that could bring the help, the healing, control Shani. He is the one who has that, O Sri Ram. And for this reason, when he's standing with you, you have an armory, you have an arsenal, and you have it there, and you don't even know the value of what you have, Sri Ram. Everybody put your hand together. Last couple of slokes here now. The Muni is after singing all of this and playing with the face of Prabhu Sri Ram in that camp where all the different monkeys, the banners, went into the city of Lanka. They are making preparation for Sita Mata, the goddess, to come out of Lanka to meet, to reunite with Sri Ram. That Leela is about to play. The Muni is playing with Sri Ram. 
tells him about Hanuman Ishwar, the lingam where Hanuman Baba life was brought back. Why we go to Hanuman Swami for help with life? Where we go to him? Where? Why does that go burden when you're doing go burden? When drought? When hardship? When death is coming? Do go burden puja? But who puts go burden where it is? Hanuman Baba. Hanuman Baba puts that hill there, and he leaves it there for Krishna to enact his worship. Listen to the words of our Gus Muni and say a prayer tonight. Jaya Bole, no drum, no drum. Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sharanam. Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sharanam. Jaya Bole Baba Tab Sharanam. Jaya Bole, everybody. Jaya Samba Sadashiva. Jaya Samba Sadashiva Nitya Kal Hanumantishwar Lingeshwar He Parvati Karma Shakti Pati Yena Hanuman Hanuman Rakshakarte Jaya Bole Jaya Bole जय बोले जय बोले जय सांबस जय सांबस दा मारियो बाबा इस टॉकिंग टू द गॉडेस डेट इन युग तो युग देर विल बी अ क्राइ देर विल बी अ नीड देर विल बी Trouble, but no trouble will be the trouble like the trouble in Kalyug. The trouble in Kalyug will surpass the trouble in every yug. They have always been bad people, mother. But the qualities of the bad in Kalyug will surpass the qualities in Treta, in Satyug, in Dwapar. There will be no standard to gauge. This person is worse. Every person is trouble. You know, you have an old saying, Dear God, tonight remember your hand together. Say a prayer. Say, close your eye. Walk with me. You have an old saying. When I was learning how to do mantras and prayers, I remember just know that he used to say, Don't trouble, trouble, don't trouble, trouble until trouble, trouble you. Until some people in this life, God, see fire, see hardship, see divorce, see pain, see cancer, see trouble. They don't understand trouble. They hear in it in the text, God, in Kali Yoga, they have trouble. But I never have trouble. That is for those people. When I have trouble, one day I'll buy a fire extinguisher. One day I'll teach my children not to, not to take things from strangers. And then I will be prepared. Trouble with that approach is the trouble done trouble you. You're done in the trouble. You're done burning. You're done lost. What does your religion, what does your dharma teach? Before Kali Yuga started, Lord Shiva says to Parvati, this katha with Sri Ram, it opened his eyes to the power of Hanuman. It opened his eyes. It opened the eyes of in different times. Tulsi Das. It opened. Who pens the Hanuman Chalisa? Tulsi Das writes that for Akbar. Who causes Valmiki the bandit? Valmiki is a bandit. But it was when Hanuman goes and gives him the Ashivad. It is Hanuman who gives him, who saves him from a life of sin. And brings him. Changes his name, brings him into a life of change and a life of difference. He says, the person who listens to the life, this katha, where the look, the outlook of Hanuman in the eyes of Prabhu is changing. He's no longer just a vanner. That lingam that brought back the life in such a person, Hanuman Keshwar, that name is going to save people. In the age of Kali Yuga, where people will be robbed of the opportunity to worship true Brahman, true Brahman, true Devi, true Prakriti, true Murti, 
through fasting, people will have to born again, go, born again, come again, go again. They will be born more in this life with birth defects, with mental defects, hormonal defects. Dear God, Hanuman Baba, we are seeing down here tonight. Remember you're praying, pray. Hanuman Baba, we come from people who used to make 25 children normal. Not one C-section. The grandmother still living and the granddaughter cannot do it without C-section. Go forward without IVF, without sterility, without adoption. People will have no children in the same span of life. When people have that type of robbery, when that type of loss of opportunity is starting, then let them remember the story of Hanuman Ishwar. Let them remember the death and the rebirth of Hanuman. Let them, let them remember the Katha where Ram is learning of the power and the Ashivad of doing Hanuman worship. That the salvation that his form will bring, no form will bring it in this age of Kaliyuk. When the person, body, you know, they say twice a child, once a man, when you get strong, and you get accustomed climbing the step in your house, and then one day that step become your enemy. Oh God, you had to climb that step. <sighs> the foot can't make, Baba. I just had to stay downstairs. When the movement is restrained, let them worship Hanuman. When the person is losing interest, when the person becomes mentally, they have depression, despondency, dejection, disharmony, all the features of shunny day when he's interfering with your brain. When the person mentally is different, imagine postpartum depression, the girl now make the baby and she cannot stand her own child. Do Hanuman Puja. When you see people go to Jari Chiren and they're passing the bay leaf on the baby. What prayers are you saying, Babs? Hanuman prayers. Hanuman prayers have certain, certain tricks that we have to get accustomed, learn, relearn where you feel, you know. If you feel Hanuman worship is only for offering rote, somebody tell me I just only go Hanuman prayers to get rote in upon it. That the prayers are just getting nice parsad. Check yourself. Check yourself. He says when those people in their family and society only women, females are being born and less and less males are being born. When society cannot harbor, it cannot have the male without the male, how will the female reproduce? People say we are overpopulated, but we are underpopulated in many countries. Imagine, Bar um, what is his name? Barbados. Barbados say 20 years ago, Bahamas increased from where there was to where there is now by millions. Barbados increased by 2,000 people. Their population is already shrinking. Italy, China, you name it. With over a lot of old people, but less young people to take care of them. When they have less young people to pay for things like NIS and pension, who going to pay for it? In your family now, who coming to wipe your bottom? When you hear old people crying and they're grieving, if you want to go and tell anybody, you know, that pundit say bottom, I don't know. I say it. Because when people sit down to do for press pundit, I have a daughter and I have a son, but better I didn't have anybody. For the person who's sitting here, who racial. The person here who say, hmm, a person from that race can cook food for me, you know. I would never eat red bean from that type of person. When you had to sign up with True Nicholas and you had to sign up for the GAP program, is GAP you call it? And you had to get the person to come, you're glad that time, whatever race, whatever texture they here have, whatever background they come from, you're glad to sit down with that person and watch your eight to four. You're glad somebody go talk to you because you make children who I have time for you, ma. Correct me if I'm wrong. In the temple, when you're in the court, ma, teddy, mama, ta. But that time when you go home, mommy only has strength because she happens and check. Mommy only role is to go and get that for me. You know how much people, old people go live? One old lady, she said, Pondit, now I go see my son. Because so long as they bring property tax and the pensioner go and apply for that, 
for the next few years I live in Baba. Well, they're going to pay for now. I, I get that correct, right? Because they got to pay eventually. But for now, the old lady have value. When you start to see that type of scenario, Daishkaliu, go and pray to Hanuman. For the parent that is seeing these traits in your children. Why, somebody correct me, why parents are so blind, dumb, and dotish for? You're, you're growing, you're growing your children to be greedy and never have time. Watch how Nicholas is grow his son. Babs, we have time, you know, we can't come to table. We don't have time, we don't have time. Ma, I don't have time. Ma, do, ma, can't come look for a girl. I don't have time. That child grow with that time management. I only know to do one thing. My job, make money. I don't have time. One day, Nicholas could be the old fella with the gray hair. Dad, me have time for you, you know. Temple, me have time for you. Watch how parents doing it now. In the masjid, in the church, here yeah, empty. But the temple empty, though. Baba, they are homework. Only Hindu children, they study hard. They're so, they're so studious. For the time you name Hindu, you should get A. You shouldn't be failing. You shouldn't have bad ways. You shouldn't know. Don't come back and say, Pondit, yes, you're my son. Come out, who make your son? Who teach him to be greedy? Who teach him never to have time to offer the turpan for your father and mother? Imagine what how stupid some parents is. Never make time to hold the boy hand and show son, look how I love my father. He dead, but I'll still offer turpan for him. I love him. One day, son, I go die. Would you offer turpan for me? If you had to do it, he could do it. One day I went to the Bandara and the son said, Baba, watch how thing is eh? They never show me how to offer tarpan. He never do it for he, father. He never did it. But now I have to do it for he. When you start to see that, get to your Hanuman quick. Hanuman is the only person who could change that thinking. When you cannot break this barrier. When you cannot get in into the thick, hard skull. Understand there's a need. And that need, you're living in it, is just sometimes we don't want to see it. We don't want to say, well, you know, my son is treating me bad. My son greedy. My son vicey. My son lusty. My son is cheating. My son is harming. My child only know to go and do prayers when it's obia. My child only know how to go and pray when it's time to damage that businessman. That's the only way they know to do prayers. Then you, from home, supposed to be setting the example of doing your Hanuman Puja. And when they're doing the prayers, because I hear Nicholas say they chanting Hanuman Chalisa. Then he explained to them why you're doing it. Sri Ram in tonight's discourse wants to know why. Why are you singing he prays? And that's what we just do. We sing and he prays. Why? He says, when the person becomes surrounded by people who want to see you fall, who want to see you falter, who want to see you downtrodden, who want to see you give up, worship Hanuman. Ganesh Baba have a five head form. Lord Shiva have a five head form. It have murtis for that. But only when Hanuman have the five head form, you're going to hear the person doing press for that type of protection. I just do punch for Hanuman Puja, but me, you know why? This is why. This lingam cause it. This blessing cause it. That person who, let me go together. That person who listens to this discourse. That person who accepts Hanuman Baba in all his forms in their life. That person who worships the lingam of Hanuman. This is a real place in India and not India. People go just to see it. You yeah, have to worship it. You yeah, have to put nothing. Just watch it. Like how we watch it. We standing up to watch the Hanuman Murti tonight when Arti going on. That person is burning away by the blessings of the goddess. All the sin that caused marks, that caused trouble, that caused ailment. In your body, inside demon and outside demon. In my job, in my financial, in my health, in my marriage, in my children, in the land. I never could own a home. I could never move in in my home. I cannot live in my home in peace. I will never inherit what is mine. The fighting. When you hear about Mahabharat, God, I want to hear that Mahabharat tomorrow night. Cousins fighting cousin for property. They're jealous this one married and this one child and everything. Go to Hanuman. 
Prabhu, help me to understand you because it has so much I don't understand. Prabhu, help me to understand you. The latter part, it talks about the Hanuman Kun. The, in the next part of another discourse of Hanuman Swami, when he fall from the from the heaven, Sri Ram says, you see where he fall in this part here? He says, you talk about Hanuman fell from the sky. Let the water that gathered there, anybody who bathed in that place, in the Hanuman Kun, let the sins that are on the body, let it wash off. This is one of the reasons why when the people are getting married and you see they're bathing them with milk and dahi and the cow urine and different things, if you have the sin that when you get married, you're going to lose your spouse, you're going to divorce, you're going to fall, let that sin come off you by the power of Hanuman. Power of Putra Hanuman Aki. The concluding. All you enjoying all the discourse? All you learning about Hanuman Baba? It have a lot with this do and we really doesn't understand, you know. The bathing on the morning and the wedding, I'm telling you, is one example. You doesn't understand why. You just see everybody doing it. They now just tell you how to do that. But don't tell me why. But when you see your children and your grandchildren have to go to court to separate their children. Trust me, you no tears until you is the helpless grandparent and the court will tell you, shut your mouth. You have no rights over them grandchildren. You are helpless. You have no say. You cannot say, okay, if the boy come and the girl there somewhere and you want to take up the little child and say, here, look your child. You can't do that. You cannot hit the child. You cannot reprimand. You cannot teach. You cannot, you cannot do nothing. Then, then you're going to understand how helpless she is. But you know what me and you is doing? The example of children. Oh, that's my grandchild, Pandit. Until the day the grandchild gets sick or they get in trouble or they do trouble. Troubling things. Then that is so-and-so child. That dear child. You ever hear a father tell a mother that? You see what son do? That time the ownership, it is run. But here where we say tonight, eh? My Hanuman Baba. We have to understand that. Prem Sablo Pauna Putra Hanuman Aki. Jai. Everybody, let me apologize for going over any time. But I think the katha was beautiful. Did you enjoy it, everybody? Yeah? Join tomorrow night. We're going again. We had a build up in tempo, you know. My drummer tired, Oliver. We got to get a new drummer. Oliver will come and learn to play drum now. We're going to help him a little bit. But by Saturday night, we'll be pumping. By Saturday night, we're going to want to go till, sun, till Tuesday. Bet you. <laughs> everybody, again, thank you for your listenership. Because I hear a pin dropping. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. When you're talking up here and you're talking from a script. This, this book do have half where we just be talking in. This book does have the basic story. But the person sitting down here does have to interpret and apply it so children and elders could understand in one audience. If I only talk, like if I talk in the children, all the elders go say, me I want to hear that stupid pundit. He only talking ABC catch a crab. Think what I'm saying. But when you get the opportunity to get into your prayer, when you love your God, when you love your Hanuman, sometimes it is enjoy yourself. I just get to enjoy myself when I up here, truthfully. It is the truth. Let's all stand as we've come to the end of tonight. Put your hands together. We are about to wave the light. When this part happens, you put your hand to your chest. Ladies, please come here. here. Bow your head and you talk to him a little bit. We go in and sing Jai Jagadish Hare, short RT, two or three verse. But while we're singing it, you sing fame. Remember that statement, you know, don't trouble, trouble until trouble, trouble you. It have a reason you just do your prayers. It have a reason you're bringing flowers tomorrow night. I talk about the Tulsi leaf, remember, it have a reason you're doing it. Don't wait until trouble, trouble you. Sajam Chavarti Sanyuktam Rahina Yojitam Mayam Deepam Grehana Devesham Trilokya Timidapaham Come on everybody, if anybody want to come up and do the RT, touch the Murti, Sylvan, Sylvan, all come and touch the Murti for me, come on, feel free, they will come up and touch Get your blessing, everybody. Take part. Shania me do rakhi. Om jay jagadish hari.
Go by your Hanuman Baba. Do your RP. Put your sinners. When you have trouble, you alone know what you go through. Where is shame in your mother house? Don't lose the opportunity while the hands work, while the foot work, leg work. Together, everybody. Om Jai Jagadish Hare Tum Karuna Ki Sagar Tum Palan Karita Swami Tum Palan Karita Deen Dhyalu Kripalu Deen Dhyalu Kripalu Kripa Karo Bharata Om Jai Just put your hands together, close your eyes. Prabhu, I am learning so much about you. If anything, tonight I have listened to so many different excerpts because this yagna will come and go, and all the different kata, I have so many. If somebody was thinking for this yagna, we're going to hear the same kata over and over again. Prabhu, I never paid attention how many kata it have. There's so much I don't know about you. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this temple. Thank you for this team who made it possible for a sinful person like me to walk through the door and get to understand your form. Thank you for the grace. Last night we hear how Shabri Mata learned the value of listening to godly things, looking at godly things, getting to touch, getting when you hear about the sewak of of, of Sri Ram is Hanuman Baba. He, there's a reason he's at his foot. Tonight, I'm learning more about him. And as I continue in my studies of Hanuman Swami, Hanuman Baba, bless me. Thank you. Together, everybody, lift your voice. Mata. Everybody. Tuameva. Shasika Tuameva Tuameva Vidya Dravinam Tuameva Tuameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Tuameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Together Om Shanti. Shanti, lift your voice. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. Hari Going louder tonight. Pawana Putra Numanaki, Uma Pati Mahadevaki, Sri Adi Shakti Mataki, Vindravan Lihari Lalaki, Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki, Jai, 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 Sidam.
Sitaram everybody. Sitaram everybody. everybody.